Hello, this is Miles McGeehan, and today I want to share with you how to build a basic content item within a content area of course sites. So I'm in a content area, and I've got these content tabs or functions across the top. Uh, to create an item, I'm going to use the Build Content drop-down and choose Item. Now, an item is uh, a great way to share information. You can use the text editor to embed videos. Uh, you can include pictures and mashups. You can uh, add attachments. It's uh, virtually infinite what you can add to an item. Now, an item is a little different than an assessment or an assignment in that an item does not uh, ask for students to upload work back uh, to complete this assignment. Think of this as just a content item. Students will receive information. They'll read over it, watch a video, whatever it is that you want to disseminate. But again, it will not build an assignment or populate an assignment within the gradebook. So I'm going to simply give my item a name. Include some text here. Because I have the full text editor available, <clears throat> I can include um, attachments right into the text or the directions of this item. I can insert uh, images directly from my desktop. I can insert embedded media. Or I can use the math uh, function editor. I can include mashups such as Flickr photos, Google Docs, YouTube videos, etc. I can build tables. I can use the HTML editor to um, do more advanced um, script work within the uh, text editor area here. There's highlighter tools and bullet lists and so forth. Uh, really a lot of different types of functions to build some uh, content here. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Maybe I want the students to watch a brief YouTube video about uh, an organism such as a krill organism that lives in Antarctica as part of our, uh, our ecosystem unit. So just to model, I'm going to choose a YouTube video. Here's that video. I'm going to select this from the uh, YouTube player and I'm going to keep it as a thumbnail which means when they click on it it'll expand and go ahead and choose submit. So that goes uh, ahead and puts it in into this uh, text editing field. Next I can add some directions below it. I'm going to keep this brief for all intents and purposes. Next I can add a file if there's something that I want students to read. I can add a Word document or a PDF or um, any number of different types of files here. And then I would select uh, whether I want the students to be able to view this option, yes or no. If I keep it hidden for a while until I finalize the uh, item, that's fine. Uh, if I want to release it at a later date or if I want it active currently. I can also track the number of views. That would allow me to know if a student had um, looked at the media, looked at the, the information and so forth. Um, just a way of following up and checking on student progress through the course. I can also give it uh, display dates. Uh, I can choose when it's available between and uh, certain date ranges or I can leave that off and it's just available all the time. And finally hit submit. When I'm done I see my little success banner across the top. I can minimize that. Here's that video and some directions and so forth. This is a, a bread and butter or a staple uh, information dissemination tool within course sites and I think you'll find a lot of value uh, posting different types of content for your students in your course with this tool. So until next time as always have a great day and thanks for viewing.